Looking for a 14 inch Windows laptop that might just be the best one out there? Let's talk about LG's Gram. I'm a huge fan of LG. I've really enjoyed the Gram range when I've played with the 16 inch. Never got my hands on a 14 before. So I picked up this bad boy for a little bit over 1100 bucks. I got the i5 1240p, 16 gig, 512 SSD. So respectable specs for about 1100 and change. And this is the two in one model. So you can flip the screen around. It is touch screen. I got the glass on the screen so that I can do this. You know, I never actually touch the screens, barely ever. The only time I ever really do it is when I'm trying to swipe and delete like 50 junk emails at the same time. Other than that, I don't really get carried away so much. You can lay it flat, you can lay it up, you can go tent mode. It's super thin, look at this. I mean, you get some better shots of it, but look at that. That's pretty thin, right? I mean, that's pretty thin. Other things I like about it, great size trackpad, solid keyboard, all the keys are in the right places, which is a bugbear of mine. So overall, what have you got here for your money? You have got a great 14 inch device. The screen looks impressive. Look at these images here that we're showing you. Look at the colors, look at the richness, look at the depth. So we've got the glass, we've got the touch screen. It's a 1900 by 12. So this is not high res like a 4K or a 3K, 2K, but it's surprisingly crisp, it's surprisingly sharp. And it again proves you do not need a 4K screen on a 14 inch laptop to get a great looking picture. This is a good looking screen. And then we're gonna show you some video as well here, just so you can kind of see how it's handling our beautiful LG OLED demo that we like to use. This is not an OLED screen, but again, look at the richness. Obviously it's not quite OLED blacks, but it's a remarkably good looking screen for a very thin, very lightweight, very reasonably priced and well-specced laptop. Here is what the screen looks like compared to a MacBook Air M2, just so you can see the comparison of approximately 11 to $1,200 worth of Mac for 11 to $1,200 worth of Windows. The Mac screen is a higher res, but look at the colors, look at the brightness, look at the contrast, see what you think for yourself as we show you these images I think the Mac is probably the slightly nicer screen here, but I don't think the LG is that far behind considering the res is a little bit lower and we've got touch. You know, there's gonna be trade-offs here to make these things make sense. So what's a man to do? Well, the keyboard is typical Lenovo. It's firm, it's got a hard press. I don't like hard presses, I like a slight sponge in it. So for me, it's not quite as nice as my go-to Surface or MacBook Air, but it's a great keyboard and it definitely feels great. The travel is not too big. I think it's right about the limit for me before I would class this as being like a long travel laptop. The trackpad's a good size. The clicks, I mean, they're there. They're solid, they're firm. It's been very responsive when I touch lightly and don't click, something that Dell's XPS seems to struggle with a little bit more. I've got a quite a light touch. So I don't think you can have any issues with the trackpad. And so I look at this device and I think, okay, what do we make of this? Who is this really for? It's a decent spec. It's a decent size and it's a decent weight. What about heat? It must be struggling, right? Well, it gets warm, but it doesn't get really hot, to be fair. I think an XPS 13 gets hotter than this. I think an HP Spectre definitely gets hotter than this. I've been surprised I have used this on my lap. I've been using this for weeks on and off to try and daily it and really get a feel for it. Heat has not been an issue in lightweight, normal usage, and the battery life has been exceptional. This is the best. Hands down, small screen laptop I have used in the Windows world in 2022. I know we're in 2023 now, but I bought it at the end of 22. I can comfortably exceed eight to nine hours of battery. I've even seen it telling me I've got 11 or 12 to go when I'm just using it in, in kind of light usage mode. And I don't have to have the screen really bright to make it work. Because I think that's the kind of thing that catches us out sometimes you know, on inferior screens, you're running them at 70, 80% brightness just so you can see them. Right now, I've got this thing at 50, maybe, and I'm in the studio, I've got a great big, you know, key light over here. It's perfectly fine, I can see everything great. Outdoors, yes, I'm gonna turn up a little bit more, but there is really not a lot to not like about this, unless you just don't like Windows OS. But if you do, this is a surprising buy, and I'm sure they're updating the LG Grams We've just had CES, 13th gen chips are on the way. So we're gonna see an improvement on this now with the next gen. And even the ports on this are really surprising because you've got the two USB-Cs here and you've got Thunderbolt 4, you've got the headphone jack and you come around to the side, 
You've got a USB-A with one of these little, you know, pop-out things that we see from time to time. It's a thin laptop, so I'm going to forgive you for that. Still got the SD card. You've got everything that you could want here. It's a little sharp on the edges for me. I do like that slightly beveled, rounded kind of corner. So this one's just not quite as comfortable in the hand. And honestly, it does feel a little bit cheap and plasticky. I know it's not plastic, but it has that feel to it. And it's a fingerprint magnet. And not just on the outside. It's a fingerprint magnet on the inside. And you know that's the kind of thing, again, that would bother me. But look at these keys on the keyboard. You do a little bit of typing. You do a little bit of trackpad work. And you've just got that kind of little bit of oil residue. I promise I don't have really oily fingers. That's just kind of... It's just what it's picking up. I haven't seen that quite so much with the Dells. Haven't really seen it with the Surface devices in the same way. So I'm not sure what Lenovo is doing differently here. I'm not sure what LG is doing differently here. Dude, I seem to get those two mixed up all the time. But whatever they're doing, their finish leaves a little bit to be desired. And, you know, if you are OCD, just expect that you're going to be cleaning this thing all the time. So here we are doing a quick webcam test on the LG Gram 14. The colors to me on the screen of the laptop are very strange. My skin looks orange and yellow. The room does not look correct to me at all. Here's the kind of back wall of the studio. You see this blooming with the pink over here and then the blooming of the blue over there. Um, yeah, that's not kind of how the room really looks. Kind of disappointed, honestly, in what this is showing me. I wonder if it looks different on the actual edited version. In other words, I wonder how much of this is the screen of the laptop itself versus the webcam that's doing it. But also you can hear my audio here. I'm just going to move away so you can still hear the audio. I'm about six or seven feet away at this point. Going to the side and still talking just so you can kind of hear how those microphones are picking up the distance. And I think the only other thing to really talk about here is benchmarks. Look, it's an i5-1240p. Check out the scores here. Put them up on the screen for you. It's pretty much what you would expect. It's right in the range of other i5-1240Ps. So for the most part, I don't think you're going to be winning on performance. and I don't think you're going to be losing on performance. You're where you should be for this chip and this memory configuration and what it's delivering. And it's not like really full sounding. Yeah, you know, I think it sounds worse than my iPhone. There's more bass in that, right? That's half volume. Dude. That sounds way better. It's not as loud. This is a phone. I mean, small amount of volume. Well, there's a little bit of sound for you. And so really what you've got is a great device. If you want a 14 inch Windows laptop, with a nice, decent 16-10 ratio screen instead of 16.9. And thank you, Samsung, for the new Galaxy Book 3 that's about to drop in a couple of days. I hear it's going to be 16.10. So there's not many holdouts left in the world of 16.9. I think 14 inches is a sweet spot for a small, portable laptop. If you've got questions, let me know below. And thanks for watching.